Oh, Doctor, let me say something Jamar to you Johnson. hypocrites. Let me say something to you hypocrites that when I speak the authentic African truth, it's racism. When I speak the authentic African truth, it's racism. But when black people are killed by police, when black people are overlooked for jobs, when black people are gentrified, when black people are mass incarcerated, when black people are presented in less than our best images on media, radio, TV, newspaper, you don't say nothing at all. No, you are the racists. You are the racists. You are the racists, you devils. You are the racist. And because you don't want to call truth, truth, because you want to be in denial about the racism that is rampant in American society, you want to hurl false insults and accusations. But I'm here to tell you right now, I will not dance if I don't like the music. I will not scratch if I do not itch. And I will not smile if I am not happy. I want you to understand me, overstand me, and understand me today. I want you to understand me, overstand me, and understand me today. I will not smile if it's not funny. I will not scratch if I'm not itching. And I will not dance if I don't like the movie, the music. This country is racist. It is built on racism. My ancestors ancestors built America. I said my ancestors built America. I said my ancestors built America and we were not paid for it. We didn't get a retirement. We didn't get a pension. We didn't get a 401k. We didn't have no vacation days. We didn't get no labor laws. There was no civil rights laws. There was no human rights law. We built this country. That's right, brothers and sisters. The most oppressed, the most marginalized, the most discriminated against group in the world in America are the Africans, brothers and sisters. I'm not crying tears for nobody. I'm not crying tears for nobody. If I'm crying, I'm crying for African men, African women, African children, African elders. I'm not crying for nobody else. I wish you well. I have nothing against no non-African people. Because as the father of civilization, as the father of humanity, I will not disparage my non-African children. As the father of humanity, I will not disparage my non-African children. As the father of humanity, I will not disparage non-African children. But I'll tell you this, I will not allow non-African children to get away with thinking. I will not allow non-African children to get away with thinking that everybody else's problems are more a priority over African people. Them days is gone. Them days of us crying for everybody else is over with. The only tears I'm shedding are for African liberation. The only blood I'm shedding is for African liberation. And if you got a problem with that, so be it. If you got a problem with that, so be it. It is all Africans for every African and every African for all Africans.